This describes something nearby. I lie silent where arrows once flew, guarding a door which will no longer but open. Ham carved on one side. <sighs> Lara, I think I have one of those stone things here. I've got the others. Now what? Now we put them together and see what your grandmother is trying to tell you. Bilad understood grandma better than anyone. Meet me at her place. This should come in handy. Tomando muestra. Ah, I was hoping Abigail would be with you. She's on her way. Hi, Auntie. <sighs> ah, it's been too long, child. Oh, let me look at you. Mm, still with the short hair, I see. Auntie, we found something in Grandma's map. Actually, your hair could be better too, now that I see you again. The pair of you are like tomboys out chasing after... Auntie, please. Why did Grandma want me to have the map? I deserve to know. Hmm. Do you remember the stories your grandmother used to tell you as a child about a magical hidden place built by your ancestors? Yes, but I grew up and she grew old and nothing magical ever happened. But she didn't forget her promise. It's there. 
in your hands. Why now? Ah, I'm only the custodian of the map. It's up to you to discover its purpose. Abby, I'm sure whatever is revealed in this map will lead to that hidden place and your answers. I hope so. All right, let's take a look. If we place each one of the fragments on the map where they were found, like so... That's the Chakana, the Inca Cross. It represents the three levels of existence. The upper world, the middle world, our world, and the underworld. It also represents the things that make us human, like the ability to love, to take action, to gain wisdom. But if I'm remembering correctly, the center of the Chakana is said to represent Cusco, the capital of the Inca Empire. In the context of the map, we're hundreds of miles from there. Well, there are many interpretations of the Chakana. Uh, Cusco, um, a portal from one world to the next. It is also said to be the Eye of God, a guardian keeping watch over us all. So, what are we looking for? I mean, this has to point to something, right? Let's take a closer look. There has to be something we're not seeing. Something... There! I thought it was a small blemish when I first saw it, but in this light, it looks like a Maya hieroglyph. Maya? That doesn't make any sense. We are Inca. What does it say? Hahil. It means truth. Truth? Truth about what? I don't know. Does this place on the map mean anything to you? Grandma and I would sit there when she told me stories about the hidden place. <laughs> Perhaps you'll find your answers there. Are you ready? Keep the map. I'll meet you there. I thought the pieces looked familiar. It's not until I put them all together that I can see it.
Abby, keep your radio close. I'll stay in touch if I find anything. Sounds good. And watch your ass in there. You can count on that. This architecture is definitely Maya. So strange. Why would my grandma want me to know about this place? any sense what have you got if I had to guess I'd say this place is a massive forge but on this scale what would they be forging that would require this kind of heat sorry I'm not gonna be much help to you there If I had to guess, I'd say this place is a massive forge. But on this scale, what would they be forging that would require this kind of heat? Sorry, I'm not going to be much help to you there.
quite the climb. There are statues here, huge faces arranged in a circle around a central column. They're watching over it like sentinels. But what are they guarding? You have a view that I don't. God, now I kind of wish I came with you. 